What's up everybody, Coach Brian here, creator and author of Unlock Your Glutes, and I'm working out with Alex here today. And we're gonna be going through uh, a bunch of glute exercises that are really gonna isolate all three parts of the glutes. So right now we're just getting warmed up. Nothing special about this warm up, very simple dynamic stretches. Um, she does her stretches, I do my stretches. Everybody does their own stretches because everybody's got their own weaknesses. So, but the main thing is you gotta get warmed up. Um, so spend five, 10 minutes warming up. It could be on a treadmill, elliptical, doing some foam rolling, some, uh, you know, some calisthenics, uh, mobility work, all, all that good stuff. So what we got today uh, in, in store for you is uh, just a couple things all about glutes. We're not giving you all the exercises that isolate the glutes because there are really so many, but we're gonna give you a bunch of movements that are gonna be beneficial based on my opinion and ex uh, experience and expertise that are gonna be the most effective to isolate those glutes. Okay, so three muscles of the glutes, you got your glute max, glute medius, and glute minimus. All three different functions, but they all kind of serve the same purpose, which is hip extension and hip rotation. Um, so it's important to target all three glutes, not just the main booty muscle, your glute max. So it's important to incorporate all isolation exercises for all three muscles. So let's get set. We're gonna start with some muscle activation. Um, I know that was kind of like an abbreviated warm up, but you get the idea, you gotta warm up. Next, before you get go into any lifting, you gotta do some muscle activation exercises. There are a bunch, but the main one that I personally recommend is a prone glute squeeze. So get yourself on the floor, get nice and comfortable. Now what you're gonna do, I want you to look at my butt. You can look at her butt too. So it's nice and relaxed right now and all of a sudden, bam, squeeze it. That's it, prone glute squeeze. This is called neuromuscular activation. I'm squeezing for five seconds. We're gonna do maybe five reps or so. Uh, you can work all the way up to 10. Squeeze in as hard as you can. So if you know anything about how the muscle works, it needs to be fired up and turned on so the brain can actually send signals to the butt or the muscle being used to say, hey, we're about to do some work. We need to recruit as many motor units and muscle fibers as possible to get the work done. If you go right into movement, or excuse me, right into an exercise without doing these, the movement is gonna be um, subpar, submaximal, so you're really never gonna get a good max squeeze on any of the exercises. So this is just one, if not one of the best um, muscle activation exercises that you can do. And again, just squeezing hard. We'll do one more. If you're gonna skip anything, don't skip this. You can skip, <laughs> I hate to say it, but if you, if you just want to get the most out of your workout, do this. Um, don't skip this because again, research shows that this is probably one of the most effective ways to developing those glutes and getting that booty that you're longing for. So let's get ready because we're gonna go over to a barbell and start doing some hip thrusts. All right, so the hip thrust is gonna be the best exercise on the planet for booty building, for glute development. Now, if you've never done the hip thrust before, you gotta go back and check out some of our previous videos because we have other videos talking about how to set it up, how to do it properly. Everybody sets their feet up a little differently. Uh, she looks pretty good. Personally, I would, for me, I would scoot my feet out further. Um, and for me, again, this is all my preference, feet a little wider. This just works best for me, might not work good for her. So the whole idea is that, first of all, you gotta be doing the hip thrust. You can start knocking out some reps, Alex. Look at that. This is gonna be your number one glute max exercise. It also hits the other two glute muscles, but not as much as the glute max. So if you really wanna isolate the glute max, your big butt muscle, you gotta do the hip thrust. You don't have to go super heavy, but what you do need to do is actually work and do a lot of sets, a lot of reps, full range of motion, all the way up, all the way down. See how her head is tucked in, or up and her chin is tucked in? And she's tucking the tailbone back. That, uh, that should have been good. Um, so now it's my turn. This is my favorite exercise for building glutes. It's safe on the knees, it's safe on the back. Um, I, I've done this, uh, used this exercise on many people, uh, some with knee issues, some with back pain, and they're like, wow, that actually didn't hurt and I can lift a lot of weight. So this isn't a lot of weight, but it's a good exercise or good weight to start with. And you can always add more resistance uh, as you get warmed up. But the main thing is you're driving those hips up, squeezing at the top, 
And remember that exercise we just did before this, that glute squeeze? I can actually feel my glutes being worked on this on the first set. So that's the whole idea behind glute activation is that it primes the muscle. Alex, you get another go. Uh, that pr it primes the muscle um, for the work to be had. So when you're doing this exercise, it's not, there's a couple different schools of thought. You can go about it, staying with it, just doing this back, in, uh, just staying with the uh, hip thrust, multiple sets in a row, resting a little bit, S strength training principles apply. You know, if you're looking for strength, heavier weight, less repetitions. Uh, but if you're looking for more of like a burning effect, you can always superset it with something, put it in a circuit. Um, you can create however you want, but use this exercise, I guarantee do this exercise at least once a week and you're gonna see some good things happen on, on those glutes. So next exercise is we're gonna get set for a Bulgarian split squat. So we're done with the bar and let's move to my favorite, second favorite exercise to get that booty. So Bulgarian split squat, either you hate it or you love it and most of the time you're gonna hate it because <laughs> It's like, it's like eating vegetables as a kid. Like you hated doing it, but now like as a grown up, you might still hate them, but you're like, all right, there are some benefits to it. This is one of those exercises. I got some dumbbells in my hand. She's going body weight. Doesn't matter what you do, just do it. Okay, so Bulgarian split squat right here. Keep that chest up. This is gonna activate all three glute muscles, not just one particular muscle. You might feel it in one particular muscle, that's usually where you're the weakest. So if you feel on the upper part of the outer butt, that's your glute medius, that's where that, that muscle is gonna be weak. Like for me, I actually feel it on my quads because my quads are much weaker than my glutes because I train my glutes, not my quads. All right, so I don't even know how many I did. So now you might be questioning, dumbbells versus body weight. I say both. If you've never done this exercise, go with body weight first. If you've got any known weaknesses or limitations like knee pain, um, hip pain, go body weight. Or if you're stuck at home, you can do this exercise, body weight only, and still get a heck of a workout. Yeah, this sucks already. All right, I'm done with that. So, use that in your workout. Hip thrust, Bulgarian split squats. The reason why we like this exercise, and yeah, it's a lunge, most lunges are quad or hamstring dominant. Once you elevate that back leg up, you're changing the, the dynamic of the movement to be had. All right, so next one, we gotta do some lateral movement. The glutes are built to move laterally. So let's go over to the turf and do some resistance band walking. So if you haven't yet invested in a set of mini bands, you gotta get them. They can be found dirt cheap pretty much anywhere, online, um, sporting goods stores have them, even like Walmart and Target carry them. They're cheap, get them, because these are probably some of the most effective tools to use when building glutes. Again, one of many resistance band exercises is just a side-to-side -side step. You know, you, you kind of go quick, like a little salsa dance, cha-cha, whatever dance this is, I, I don't even know, doesn't matter. But if you do a lot of these high reps, yeah, actually, I'm already feeling it already. So one of many exercises, but incorporate some kind of lateral movement because like I said, your glute, or your, yeah, your glute uh, medius is responsible for hip abduction, means bringing the leg away from the midline of the body. And that's where I feel it, that upper butt, that booty shelf right there. Yeah, ah, that burns. See, she could probably do these all day. So light resistance, maybe 20, 30 steps each side. You can do this in a circuit. Yeah, there's so many other types of uh, band stepping exercises, monster walks, tippy toe walks. I mean, there, there really are many ones. I personally like this one because it's quick, it's concise, and it's, uh, it's good for the glute medius. So it really isolates that muscle. So after that, go to the floor. We have a couple exercises on the floor to do. Let's get right to it. So. We got uh, side plank, hip abduction, more upper butt, uh, top booty shelf there, but also the glute minimus. So this one I learned um, a couple years ago. It's not only, I mean, it's, it's just challenging. It's, it's, I call it a flying kick, side plank, hip abduction. So you're gonna get in a side plank position, bottom knee is on the, on the mat here, starting here. So 
tailbone is kind of tucked back a little bit. Now what you're gonna do, point your toes down a tiny bit and lift that heel up. If you ever played like Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter as a kid, you know, it's like that one dude that like, had like that leg that flapped like this, like a mile, you know, hundred miles an hour. That's why the term is called flying kicks is because it looks like you're kind of kicking the air and you're flying through. Ooh boy. All right, so if you want to keep going, by all means. Not only does it hurt there, but it also hurts there. So you get best of both booties on that exercise. So let's get the other side again. So nice side plank hip position. Turn those toes down a little bit, keep the heel up. So the bottom leg is stabilizing. That's your glute minimus. Top is glute medius. Glute max is still being fired in there. Okay. Ah, wow, that burns. And the cool thing about all these exercises that we've just done or we're gonna keep doing is uh, you can do all these exercises body weight. You don't have to use a barbell for the hip thrust. You don't have to use dumbbells for the Bulgarian split squats. You, you kind of need a band for those lateral band walks, but there's really no formal resistance. So in other words, you can do this at home, at the park, in the office, in a hotel room. You don't have to go to the gym to get a nice booty workout. Last one and then we're gonna wrap this show up. Single leg glute bridge, I love. Okay, so the best way to isolate uh, a particular muscle is to um, go unilateral training. So bilateral training would be like a double leg glute bridge right here. Single leg really focuses on that right or left, whatever it is. So if you're really looking to isolate one particular side, the benefit of doing this is for the sport of bodybuilding, but also for athletes and anybody with known limitations or muscular imbalances. So that's why unilateral training is very effective. So some single leg glute bridges, oh, that's a good way to finish. You know, knock out high, high amount of reps, you know, 10, 15, 20 or so. You know, try to drive those hips up as high as you can. Yeah. Even though we're laying down and relaxing, it seems like it's challenging. I don't know if this is, uh, you know, the, ex you know, what's the word? Exciting? But it's, <laughs> it's not as painful as like the band walks. Uh, so this is what I would consider more of like a beginner's exercise. However, higher reps, you can add resistance, you can throw in some holds at the top. Whatever you want to do to it, um, it's going to be effective. So that's pretty much it. I know it's kind of a long-winded uh, workout, but there's so many other exercises that you can do to build your glutes. And we've got probably a couple hundred videos talking about how to build the glutes. Um, inner thighs, hips, and things like that on our YouTube channel here. So make sure, first of all, subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell to stay up to date with what we've got. Um, if you've got a comment or a question, please post it now. We'd love to help you out. Um, that's it. Other than we want to give you an actual workout, it's called the five minute glute workout. It's free, it's totally for you to use, and it's right here. Click this box, give us your email, and we'll send you the free workout right now. Subscribe to us by clicking over there and check out these other glute videos that I know you're going to enjoy watching uh, as well. Hey, Coach Brian, this is Alex. Thanks for joining us today. Have an awesome day. We'll see you next time.